Have you ever had a computer that didn't have Bluetooth connection uh, from factory on it? Here I am, I've got this Lenovo um, desktop, which I've had now for a while. Um, it's got wireless connection inbuilt. As you can see, there's a wireless connection there, but it hasn't got Bluetooth. So if I want to connect devices like my phone to trans, uh, transfer uh, data across, I can't do that because there's no Bluetooth inbuilt in it. So I, I tried to find a solution around this and uh, I decided to get um, a Bluetooth USB dongle. It's uh, from Empow, that's the product name. And I'll put this in and uh, it's a 5.1 Bluetooth, so really updated one. And it's supposed to be for Windows 7 up to Windows 10 and even for, for Linux. So I'm gonna try this and I'll do a review of this uh, Bluetooth USB dongle and I'll let you know if it actually works nice for uh, this application. All right, I've, I've put that Bluetooth dongle in the back of this desktop computer. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you can really see it there, but that's the Bluetooth dongle, this item here. Yeah, that one. So once you plug it into the back of the computer, into a USB port, automatically it just installs itself. So down here on my computer screen, if I click this up, you can see I've got a Bluetooth symbol there. And just like a regular Bluetooth symbol, you can do whatever you want with it. Before now, that did not appear. If I take that off the back, you will see that uh, it it would stop showing up on my my computer now. Just take that off. There, I've got the Bluetooth dongle out. Just had to remove this item before that. But if you look back at the computer, um, if I click on the Bluetooth, show the Bluetooth devices and all, switch off and switch on it's gonna tell you it doesn't have a bluetooth anymore there you can see there's no bluetooth device anymore that that bluetooth symbol is gone so switching off and on you can see it's not there you can you can see all that bluetooth devices here but if you try to connect to them they will not connect so i have to put that in there to get that bluetooth symbol to show that um i've got bluetooth on this uh, computer so i just pop that back in here and there uh, i'll show you Okay, there, there, it's back in there. And if you look down here, now you can see we're back. The Bluetooth symbol is there. So somehow I've changed, I've, I've kind of turned this desktop PC, uh, which didn't have a Bluetooth, to now have a Bluetooth connection. So with this, I can transfer files, I can find other devices, I can connect to uh, speakers and uh, devices that have got Bluetooth, mouse, wireless mouse, and all that stuff. So clicking on this, clicking on this, I can go here and I can say, send a file somewhere or receive a file from somewhere. I can send a file if I've got Bluetooth devices active. I've only got one speaker there and I can, I can send a file to uh, the Bluetooth devices that are active. I can also receive a file if I've got some Bluetooth device active. So just to show you, I've got a uh, a phone. I've got a phone down here and I'll just put on the Bluetooth of that phone because as you could see, this was not, this Bluetooth was not, the, the phone was not showing up here when I say uh, send the file. I've only got a speaker in there. So now I'll show you once I put on the Bluetooth of this phone, you would see the computer would be able to detect the Bluetooth of this uh, phone. I'll just make it visible to all the devices for two minutes. And now you can see there's a phone, the phone popped up there and I can actually connect to it and just go next as you would usually go like next and pick the file you want to send to the phone or vice versa. I can transfer a file from that phone to this computer. So I think this, uh, the, the, the Bluetooth dongle, it's really, it's really good. I wouldn't fault it for anything. Um, it's been it's been saving me well. I've used it to connect to my loudspeakers, and I've been able to play music from this uh, desktop to those loudspeakers without going out there to buy some kind of network card to install at the back of the computer or anything like that. 
So I'm very happy with the purchase and I think it's a, it's a very good device. It might work for, for your computer. Some I've read reviews where some people say it didn't work for their computers, but for mine, it was fine. And I think it's worth the risk. It didn't cost much at all. So it's worth the risk to try that first before you start thinking of buying a network card and an ad adapter to install in the back of your computer, or even thinking of replacing your whole system just because you want a Bluetooth connection. All right, guys. I'll be uploading more videos uh, as I go along. Um, if I find anything interesting about uh, using this Bluetooth or if I find another product uh, later on. But uh, stay stay well and uh, subscribe for more. And I'll be talking more about reviews of common items uh, that users like uh, you and I uh, are exposed to. Thanks.